What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about X Defiant and how one of the lead developers, Mark Rubin, uh, answered a question a few days ago on Twitter that was very interesting and that was about skill-based matchmaking. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you consider subscribing. Skill-based matchmaking is something that has always been in first-person shooters, but over the years, especially in things like Call of Duty, we all can, you know, if you've played that game, we all know that the skill-based matchmaking has been ramped way up. And it's not really based on connection first, it's mainly based on trying to find other skilled players to place you against. And that is one big issue that a lot of people have with skill-based matchmaking. And recently on Twitter, someone asked uh, if there would be skill-based matchmaking in X Defiant. And Mark Rubin answered, no skill-based matchmaking in normal playlist. They will have a welcome playlist for players under level 25 that will have skill-based matchmaking, but all of the other play playlist will not have skill-based matchmaking. They will also have a ranked playlist as well. Of course, the next question was, does everyone have to play in that welcome playlist? And of course, that answer was no. So they love the game. Of course, they kind of talked about, you know, they were excited that there was no skill-based matchmaking, so they were hoping they didn't have to use it at all. And of course, Mark Rubin replied to that with saying, you don't have to play in that welcome playlist if you're under level 25. That welcome playlist is mainly made for those uh, you know, new players that are brand new to first person shooters or brand new to X Defiant and do not quite understand what's going on. So that level 0 to 25 playlist is optional, which I think is a good thing. If you are brand new to the game or brand new to FPS games in general, having something with skill based matchmaking from 0 to level 25 is a good thing. But after level 25, uh, of course, you will be out of that uh, pool and into normal matches. So you will be into matches that do not have skill-based matchmaking. Or if you decide to just skip that welcome playlist altogether, you can just go in and play in those normal playlists that will not have skill-based matchmaking. When it comes to ranked play, it sounds like there's going to be a ranked-based system, which I'm hoping is more kind of in line with the old Halo ELO ranking system, which places you against players you know, right at your skill level. Usually one or two below or one or two above the level that you're at. So you really don't have to worry about skill-based matchmaking and ranked play in this game, it doesn't even seem like, because that's going to have a ranked-based matchmaking system. And if it is ranked-based and it is really going to uh, base it off connection, that's going to be a really good thing for people that want to play more of a competitive style X Defiant game instead of maybe just in the normal playlist. It sounds like the game is getting close to being launched. We have heard about them already talking about designing a prestige system as they uh, kind of as we speak, and this was of course a couple weeks ago. So it sounds like they're getting really close to the end of development and the game being launched. Because to me, if they're working on a prestige system right now, I would assume that's something that they would work on right at the end of development when everything else was ready to go. So hopefully we'll get some more info about X Defiant really soon. I'm going to say hopefully the game will be out by no later than March. Uh, but I'm kind of hoping maybe by you know sometime in February this game will drop. It will be free to play. I'm really looking forward to playing it. Kind of that old school COD gunplay. Mix a little bit of a, almost a hero shooter at times. So it's going to be an interesting time when the game is released to see how the community, you know, the first person shooter community kind of reacts to this game. Because I think if it is done correctly and, you know, everything plays good, you know, plays good. We don't have a lot of bugs and we have no skill based matchmaking this game could be really popular and take off so leave me a comment with your thoughts and i'll catch you all next time peace